Pete here, N6QW, and uh, I want to share with you a little transceiver I've reworked. This was originally a five-channel, a five-channel 60-meter transceiver, because there's only five channels uh, on 60 meters, and uh, it was principally set up for uh, upper sideband. It has a Yaesu filter at 3.180, and uh, kind of a standard lineup. We got our uh, Arduino Nano and an SI5351. The bandpass filter was set up for 60 meters, and the low-pass filter behind this heat sink right here is uh, set up for 60 meters. Not too much activity on 60 meters, so I decided to convert this to a 40-meter transmitter channelized. So there it is in 7204. There's 7155. There's a 7155 group beats in the morning. And that's a 7074, but we're going to put that in upper sideband. So there we are, 7074 FT8. And we have four other channels, 155, 204, 206, and 255. 7255 used to be the West Coast Amateur Radio Service. Back in the 70s, everybody and their brother check in there if you were in trouble, had an emergency, uh, wanted to work the X, that was a place to go. Now that's... It's a group of uh, hangout there that run a lot of power, and some of them uh, have a salty language. Anyway, there's an added bonus to this, and the added bonus is a little encoder here. So I have a clarifier control at 100 hertz, so I can tune either side of that and go to the next one there, and I can tune. So all of them are set up so that this can tune essentially... Uh, either side of the, the nominal channelized frequency. So you could tune the whole band, although with a little knob like that, it's kind of tough. And this is uh, uh, upper sideband, lower sideband select. This was set up for a tune function. I haven't put that back in, but uh, that was originally there. So the one thing remaining to be done is uh, I've got to change the low-pass filter to 40 meters. And then I do have a little problem here, and you notice the winking, the winking, and that's the... Uh, the LEDs on board, and that winking causes a noise, and I got to figure out what I got to shut off in the in the sketch to turn that off because it's just a constant bing, 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 bing in the background, and that's not too good for the uh, either to receive or transmit a signal. But we're moving right along here, so again, you can have a clarifier function, uh, 100 hertz increments. So if something is not right on frequency. You can do that. You can actually tune the whole band that way. But the minute you switch to the next channel, then it defeats whatever the setting was on the uh, encoder. Pete here. Uh, this could be kind of a nice, uh, nice transceiver because you could quickly check uh, some hotspot watering holes where nets meet, and uh, then if you want to tune either side of that, uh, you can. And you can tune the whole band. So I've limited the tuning to just about uh, uh, from seven, from 70 to 745. So we can tune the whole 40 meter band. Anyway, Pete here, N6QW, and uh, this is the channelized 40 meter transceiver.